Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the x bar and y bar of the centroid of the y. So we are given this wire and this wire has a geometry or a curvature of y equals to x square. So we know the equation uh, for y bar and x bar. So as we can see that this wire is symmetrical about the y axis. So from the symmetry we can say that x bar will be equal to 0. So we only need to find y bar. x bar is 0 since the, the wire is distributed uniformly about the y axis. So it is symmetrical about the y axis. So x bar will be equal to 0. So for y bar, we can write the principle of moment equation. So y bar times the integral of dl will be equal to y tilde dl integral. So now we will define our differential length, right? So let's say that somewhere here is the differential length and it is having dl length. So now if we represent this dl length by a triangle, so this will be, if this is dl, if this is dl, then this is dx and this is dy, if we represent that like this. So this is dx and this is dy. So from this we can write that dl equals to dx square plus dy square under the square root if we apply the Pythagoras theorem. And now if I multiply and divide with dx square, uh, sorry, if I multiply and divide with dx, so 1 dx will go inside. So when it dx square plus dy square, so that this dx will become dx square inside the square root and we will be left with dx. So now if I divide this dx by dx, dx square by dx square, so it will be 1 and dy square divided by dx square. So we can say that this is dy by dx square under the square root into dx. So we can say that dl is equal to this thing. Now we are given that y is equal to x square. So from this we can say that dy by dx is equal to 2x. So now dl equals to 1 plus dy by dx which is 2x. So 2x square will become 4x square. So dl is 1 plus 4x square dx. So now we can write that y bar equals to, if I divide both sides by dl, so we will have y tilde dl divided by integral of dl. And now the integral is from, uh, since this is 2 feet, so on this side it will be minus 2 feet. So the integral is from minus 2 feet to 2 feet and similarly from minus 2 to 2 feet. And y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential length from the x-axis. So it is the location of the centroid from the x-axis. So this is y tilde. This length is y tilde. So this differential length is located at a distance of y. So we can say that y tilde is equal to y. So I can replace this y tilde by y. Right? So we can write that this is y dl from minus 2 to plus 2 divided by dl from minus 2 to plus 2. So y bar and now y is x square, y is given as a function of x, so y is equal to x square, so we can write as x square. This is dl, so dl is 1 plus 4x square dx from minus 2 to plus 2 and this is dl which is 1 plus 4x square dx from minus 2 to plus 2. So now we will find this integral using the calculator. Right? So in my calculator, or in your calculator, you people can find this integral using this function. So this is from 
माइनस टू 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 दिस इज एक्स स्क्वेर दिस इज एक्स स्क्वेर देन स्क्वेर रूट वन प्लस फोर एक्स स्क्वेर So this gives us sixteen point nine four two. Sixteen point nine four two. From the numerator, we get this, and then in the denominator, we have minus two to two. We need to delete this. So this is nine point two nine four. Nine point. Two nine four. So from this ratio, we will get y bar. Sixteen point nine four two divided by nine point two nine four. So this gives us one point eight two three. One point <coughs> eight two three feet. So y bar comes out to be one point eight two three feet. So from this, since x bar is zero due to the symmetry, so we can say that the centroid is located somewhere here. And its coordinates are zero and one point eight two three feet.